Tonight we're hearing it from a heartbroken mother of four boys killed in a crash on Thanksgiving. The, the children ch were as young as eight months to 12 years old. And their mother Jennifer was critically hurt after the car they were in went off the road and into a pond. The family had just moved to Kansas and the crash happened in Republic County near the Nebraska border. The mom's boyfriend was also in the car but wasn't hurt. KSN2 News reporter Hannah Brandt takes us to where it all happened tonight. A moment of silence. The house is too quiet without him. Used to be a rarity in this house. Now it's all there is. Just so busy all the time with four boys. And then just one day, all this appears. You don't know what to do with yourself. What was supposed to be a drive to visit family on Thanksgiving ended in tragedy. We hit a piece of ice in one spot. That's all it took. Paul was able to escape from the passenger seat and get his girlfriend Jennifer out too. He flagged down drivers, braved the frozen pond, and broke the windows trying to get Jennifer's boys out. I love those boys just like they were my kids. I would have done anything in the world for them. There ain't nothing I could do that day to get them out of that truck, or I would have. Now all they have left of Ronald, Travis, Moses, and Axton are memories. They were awesome. They were just very loving, kind, respectful manners. The boys made sure that the people knew who they were. When we first moved here, their goal was to ride the bikes around town and find friends. And their faces that nobody could not love and their smiles. The smiles and memories they'll always treasure. If people don't never realize what you got. You might not have it tomorrow. You just in a blink because that's all it took. Now you'll find little pieces of the boys all around the house. And Republic County, the place they called home, will always keep the boys' legacy and memories alive. They made friends and got comfortable here and was happy. They told me that they never wanted to leave here. So I figured this is where they're happy. This is where they call home. So this is where they need to be laid to rest. Just an absolutely heartbreaking story. Now, the mom's boyfriend, Paul, was not buckled up at the time of the crash, and that's how he was able to get him and Jennifer out so quickly. Now, Jennifer and Paul tell us that the community and their family have really been there for them, and they can't thank them enough. Yeah, they've set up a GoFundMe in the boys' names and have raised almost $40,000 already. So if you would like to donate, we have a link to those GoFundMe's on our website. It's such a sad story, but so great to see when a community comes together like that. Absolutely. And I think, you know, it's a story that many of us saw on Thanksgiving Day and just thought how heartbreaking oh, to know yeah. that now we have Christmas coming up and mm -hmm. that family will be trying to endure that without those boys. So yeah. we do our hearts and prayers go out to yeah. them.